Good afternoon, everybody. Today, well, I am exhausted and I have 37 minutes to get this video filmed, edited, and posted so I don't miss my schedule. Anyways, we are going to go over a really cool tool in Lightroom that actually helps you select and edit specific colors. So let's get started. Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over an actual quick video and showing you how to select and edit specific colors in Lightroom without bleed over, without issues. It's a really, really cool technique that can be very, very helpful. So let's get into Lightroom and get started. Okay, here we are in Lightroom. The first thing we're gonna do is select our mask. So we're gonna press Shift W or obviously you can just come up here and click the mask tool. Now, um, once you're in the mask tool, you're gonna go to range, you're gonna click color range, and you're going to select the color that you want. For this case, we're gonna just select the yellow. Now, you'll notice that it will select all of the colors that are mixed in that color. So we're gonna get all the flowers, but we're also gonna get some of her neck here and some of her arm here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click the mask, press subtract. Now, if we select subject, if we subtract the subject, we lose the flowers on her here. So command control Z to undo. So we're gonna subtract brush and we're just going to take her selection away from her body here. That way it is a clean selection. And this doesn't happen that often. It's just something to be aware of when you're doing these kind of selections. Now you have all the yellow selected and we're gonna scroll down here to our hue color and we can adjust the color of all of that yellow to exactly what we want. Let's say we want a kind of an orangey flower, so we're gonna darken it here, then we're gonna up the saturation, and then we are going to darken the exposure. Now we have a much darker flower. Here is the before, here is the after. Super simple, super quick. Let's go to another photo here. So we're here at this photo, and we wanna make this a little bit more fall-esque. So what are we gonna do? Shift W to open our masks, go to um, range, color, select this. Now there are a couple of ways you can do this. One, you can press the mask, right? And select the color. Good, then you can press shift, press and hold shift. You'll notice you get a plus sign. So now you can select another color and another color and another color and another color, so on and so forth. Now, if you've selected multiple colors, you'll notice that you have all of these little eyedroppers here. If you push and hold option, you'll get some scissors. So then you can unselect those specific ones or you can just delete the mask altogether. Right? Good. All right, the other thing you can do is press range, color range. You can click and drag to create a box to select a portion of colors. So there, that's way too many colors. So we wanna first subtract the subject, good. And then, because we don't want the sky, but the sky is, if you look at the sky, it's relatively the same color. Go to subtract. You could do two ways here. You could do subtract and select sky, and that would probably do a relatively good job. Actually, that did a terrible job. Okay, good, let's delete that. that this is a great, that was a great example. Good, so here we have the mask. All right, and we're gonna subtract color range, and then we're gonna select the sky. See how it selects that? And now check it out. Now we have that perfectly selected. So that actually worked better than the select sky subtraction technique. Good, now that we have all of this, we're gonna turn off the overlay and we are going to adjust this to get a more fally color. Ooh, that looks nice, good. Let's lower the saturation here and let's make it brighter just a little bit and add a little magenta. Good, okay, here's the before, here's the after. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to select the subject and we're just gonna brighten her up a little and we're gonna make her a little bit more orangey. Good, and there we go. So good, so here is the before and here is the after. Pretty simple. So you can use this tool for an incredible amount of adjustments and selective color adjustments which makes even better edits in the long run. But that's it for this fast video. I'm gonna go take a nap, so hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, you know where the comment section is, and I put a bunch of goodies in the description, so go check that out. And because that video was so fast, if you wanna keep on educating yourself on editing and learning more techniques and tricks and things like that, YouTube recommends this video, I recommend this video, and if you wanna subscribe, hit that button. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.